Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill John. Well, out on Facebook, I was setting up this uh, new group, Excel Pivot Tables Rock. And if you're a Facebook user, I encourage you to come out here. I was uploading some videos, and I realized I didn't really have a good video that shows from scratch how to start your first pivot table if you're using Excel 2007. And I covered that in Excel 2003. And then when 2007 came up, I showed you know how it was different, but I never showed for someone who's brand new at Excel 2007 how to just start and create a pivot table. So a pivot table, one of the most powerful features we have in Excel, allows you to take 500, 5,000, or 500,000 rows of data and summarize it in about six clicks. You want to start out with a really basic data set, heading above every column, no blank rows, no blank columns, no months going across the columns, just ugly transactional data. We go to the Insert tab of the ribbon and click the pivot table icon over here on the left-hand side. And provided your data is in Excel, you have no blank rows, no blank columns, it's going to get this question right, you just click OK. And we end up with a blank pivot table on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, a pivot table field list. Now, in the old days, we used to take fields from the field list and drag them onto the report. We don't have to do that anymore. We now have two sections at the top, the list of fields, and at the bottom, four drop zones. And we simply take the fields from the top and drag them to the right space on the bottom. So let's say we need to build a summary of sales by region and product. Well, as soon as I click region, it automatically goes to column A, and it shows up down here in the row labels field. I'll take the product field. Instead of clicking it, I'm going to drag over to the column labels. That'll put our products going across the top. And then choose whatever we need, revenue, cost of goods sold, or profit. Since it's a numeric field, it automatically goes right to the sum values area. And we've taken that data set now, without creating a single formula, created a beautiful view of the data. And if your manager wants to, you to rearrange this, we can just take the fields here, product from column to row, region from row to column, and we have a brand new report. Or maybe we want to add the customer field in, so we can see which customers bought which products. Easy to do, or drag the customer field to the top of the row labels list, and now we'll see which products were purchased by which customer. Subtle difference. One new thing in Excel 2007 is the great new auto formats that we have. They're back here on the Design tab, so you can choose a variety of different formats and choose whether we want to show banded rows or banded columns so you can make a great looking pivot table in just a few clicks. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.